Hey y'all, it's Tracy with Mama's Comfort Cooking. And today I'm going to show you how to make a vegetable melody casserole. Yummy and good. Let's get started. Let me show you the ingredients and let's put it together real quick. Okay, here we go. These are the ingredients that I'm going to be using today. Let me zoom up real close for you. So I have a mixture of cauliflower, carrots, broccoli. This is asparagus fresh green beans, squash, okay? Now what we're gonna do is, I also made a cream sauce. I also made a sauce with my anything sauce. You can use it on anything. I have a casserole dish. The oven is set for 350 and we're gonna put this together. How about that? Okay, let's get started. So here's what we're gonna do. Okay, to this casserole dish, we're gonna spray it. Then we're gonna take all our vegetables and we're gonna apply them into the casserole dish. Any way you want to, just get them all in there. Okay. In this bowl, I have melted butter with olive oil, a little garlic powder, and a little vegetable table blend and green vegetable seasoning. I'm gonna apply it to it right now. I'm gonna move it over so you can see me. So you wanna take all this goodness and you wanna just apply it over all your vegetables, just like that. Then I'm gonna up take one of the Lipton's vegetable soup packs and I'm gonna pour it all over, just like that. And you want to work it in real good. You want to take your time. Use your hands. It's your food. And make sure everything marries really good before we go to the next step. And the next step is really easy. Okay? So what I've done is I've got everything good. These vegetables make, they make somewhat water. So we're just going to add a little vegetable stock. Just a little. Not much at all. We need it for a reason. Next, we're gonna add a half a can of cream of mushroom with my everything sauce. I've already mixed it up. We're gonna put it all in there together. Let them come together and get along just fine. Stir that in real good. Try to get it over all the vegetables as much as you can. We're also going to add a mixture of cheese sauce. I used half heavy cream, and I had a half a cup of Philadelphia cream cheese, three slices of Harvardi cheese, and a cup of Velveeta. I'm going to work this in a little at a time. I did melt it in the microwave together, so it wouldn't be hard to, to mix. You want it to mix evenly as much as possible. Remember, these vegetables do produce water, so even though you may think this is a little thick, it's really not going to be once they start to cook. And what we're going to do, we're going to add a little more vegetable stock in here. Now, you have a choice. You can cover this with Italian breadcrumbs, or you can cover it with cheese, or you don't have to cover it at all. So, that is totally up to you. I am going to go and take two tablespoons of cornstarch and I'm going to mix it with a fourth a cup of water and that is going to become my binder for this dish. Make sure you work it really, really good. Make sure you work it really, really good. Remember these vegetables are fresh vegetables so they will steam cook and it shouldn't take long you can do a lot of things to this dish you could add chicken if you wanted to you could add mushrooms sauteed mushrooms and onions would be very good as an add-on so when i come back this is going in the oven i'm going to add the binder that brings them together by the way if you want to use all of your cheese sauce all of it just to make you happy okay i'll use all of it so we're going to use all the cheese sauce 
we're going to work it in here really good just like that let everybody have some since i added the cheese sauce i'm going to add just a little bit more vegetable stock i'm going to top this with just a little cheese because I like to see my vegetables. So just say we've used about a good cup of vegetable stock in this. Work it really good. You're going to want that sauce. You're creating something fabulous and you don't even know it. But what we want to do, we want to be able to dip it and it remains together. So that is why I am using a binder of two tablespoons of cornstarch mixed to one fourth of water. Does not necessarily mean we're going to use it all. So when I come back, it'll be out the oven and you'll see the end result. Here's the outcome of the casserole. I didn't want to cut into it because it still has to sit and it's still congealing. I cooked it for about 30 to 45 minutes in the oven because I still wanted to um, have crunch to my vegetable. This is delicious and the sauce is amazing. You must try this over rice or just by itself is nice. Again, this is my Melody casserole of vegetables. Quick and easy and an easy way to get your kids to enjoy vegetables. Thank you for watching so much. Mama's Comfort Cooking. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your family. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And enjoy your food. Until next time. Bye.